Red punchers punch on hey so i'm doing nine challenges it's one thing i have never beaten i'm just gonna jump from six to nine because it's nice but also because if i beat seven i'm just gonna want to beat it and then beat nine i might as well just go for the nine my plan is to well die a whole bunch of times obviously but i'm going to record and once i die i'm gonna stop there and then i will play another game later and once I get to my farthest progression point, I will start recording from there again. So essentially, I'm going to splice a bunch of runs together and I always start from my furthest point. Um, for example, let's say I die on floor two. Well, then I'll stop recording and my next recording, I'll play a new run. And once I make it to floor two, I'll start recording there. I messed around on nine challenges a little bit and I have gotten as far as Tengu. So if we were going by this, way i would actually just start on tengu but since i haven't actually done it like recording i'll just start here on floor one so here we go a uh, fresh safe and i'm doing duelists because i believe monk is very strong with the range options you know what i mean that's just like lunge and everything i mean i've never made it to monk because i haven't beat tengu yet but i feel like the meditate plus a whole bunch of wands is very strong I believe it even, well, that's a projecting. I right, better get behind this door. I think that was projecting. I don't know how else I got hit. From nowhere. I'm just going to wait for it. I assume it's coming for me. It could have been like way out there. So rip my food levels here. Yeah, there it is. Projecting rat. You dirty rat. All right, well, we killed it. Hey, there's another one. So I hope that makes sense. My plan for these next couple of videos probably going to be the next year. Who knows if I'll ever, ever even beat nine challenges. I actually should fully explore this room. Sometimes there's things in here, right? Or maybe not. Maybe there's never items in the first uh, room. I mean, with the stairs going up. Oh, hello, rat. I'm close to the door. Might as well go for the punch. At least at level one. Not strong at all. Yet. Oh, misclick. This little misclick here could be bad, especially if I tried to like run around. I just get a whole bunch of these on me. So I think I will just take the one penalty shot there and then come through and try and kill it there. Oh, it's a bad miss. One, two, three, four, five steps there. One, two, three, four steps there. So, oh, you didn't come up diagonal? Jeez, snake. Well, good thing at least no more enemies are coming after me. We got the kill there. Well, let's explore the middle. Ooh, trap. Hey, a little food, a little scroll action. All right, ready? Moving on, moving along. How are we doing? Ooh. Definitely go for shielding. Of course, I have to be a little health when I use it, but I imagine I'll be low health pretty soon. Hey, strength potion. Nice. Love that about the duelist. It seems like I'm pausing and cutting lots because I am, because I'm also having a conversation in RL mode. One of those yelling from upstairs to downstairs combos that we all love to do. Ooh, sure can. Sure can. That's going to be great. Hmm, mail armor. Okay. Definitely going to use these. Maybe not on the rats, though. Maybe on the gnolls. Maybe once I have a torch up. Another key, huh? Okay, so... I haven't done enough nine challenges to actually know the distribution of... The upgrades, I know, I think it's two in the sewers and then only one in the whole prisons, or is it less? I may go and double check that one. So I need to know, help me, you know, figure out which scrolls are upgrade. Well, looks like we made it through floor one. That's to be expected. 
I actually made you a quick pause and check the wiki quick. I want to look up exactly how Forbidden Runes works. Okay, yeah, so it's two sewers, one prison, two caves, one dwarven, two demon halls. So it's like every other every other region. You get two, then you get one. You start with two, then you get one. Alrighty. So we... No, it's not this one because we wouldn't have gotten two of them on the same floor, obviously. So it could be Burkhanan. Could be... Yikes. Hey, floor two ghost is nice. Let's go like the, let's say the step back shuriken. But I don't think it works good when things are in melee, right? I guess we're just gonna have to do some smacking. Do I have a torch? Yeah, okay, I should just light a torch, huh? Well, do we want to get the, the ooze going right now? I guess so, yeah. I feel like with nine challenges, I can't be as careful. I'm going to light a torch, though. Because I've got these ranged weapons. Let's use them. There's another... Oh. I'm not going to use them on a mouse, though. I will use one on you. What is the difference here? Two to five. Four to eight. Dang, shurikens are good. Get one free shuriken here and then go with the lunch. Nice. I'm surprised I haven't ran into El Guzzi yet. Oh, okay. Hmm, I don't trust this square. <laughs> Just wake it up, see where it goes. And I don't even want to use a charge on it because the quest NPC is going to be coming soon. I mean, quest monster. NPC makes you think it's friendly. It's not friendly. There's a ghost. Let's go through here. Ooh, yuck. Di diagonal. It's a little faster that way. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think the gas is going to come in here. Yeah, it looks like the gas is maxed out. Come on. The ghost is stuck over there. Kill it. Okay. Can we make anything yet? I mean, we could go ahead and make this into a runestone since we know it's not upgrade, right? Okay, these other ones though, they these two might be... So I'll hold on to those. Where is that stinking slime? There it is. I mean, yeah, it's slime. I keep saying slime because it caustic like oozes. I was thinking it was a slime. No, it's a rat. And I'll definitely probably use all the shurikens too. Yeah, we'll get a lunge and get the kill. Yes, sure did. Just have to get out of this. Ooh, you can just die. I wish I had something to deal with it though. It's gonna get paralyzed. Nope. That's all right. Except they probably burned up my meat. Okay, ghost, where are you? Hopefully you're by the way out. You're starving already. Oh, there you are. Okay. Ooh, a whip. Definitely think we go with the whip on nine, nine challenges. I hear ranged weapons are very, very strong. And with faith is my armor, it's not. Hey, it's plus one. <laughs> All right. So I could get it down to 12 strength if I use the two upgrade scrolls we find in the sewers. And I could start the prisons with the plus three whip. Alrighty. Well, I'm now motivated to survive that long. <laughs> So I should use everything at my disposal to get there. That means crabs, don't kill me now, please. Food. Wonder if I should eat it quicker than usual. I usually I wait till 50%, but that's zero challenges, so. Maybe I could wait till I at least level up or something. 
Mm-hmm. Oh no. Maybe I'll eat a bite quickly. So we're gonna fight crab soon. Which means I'm gonna be in pain soon. Oh, it's a fly. Kind of don't want to walk in here. Come on, fly. Um, from this way. Oh, that's bad news. So one, one, two, one, two. It's got two turns on this. You just move, so I think I get a free shuriken hit. Yeah, nice. Move again, get another free shuriken hit. One, two, and that's gonna. And then, then I can lunge at it at least. So spike, lunge. Don't kill it. Okay. Time. Oh, what? I clicked here. I swear I clicked there. At least I didn't die from that. Hopefully we can kill this fly. Yeah, see, now I regret not eating the food. We could run upstairs. We have to. And we can eat some food up there and come back down. Okay, we know this is healing, Azure. So we can use that to put out fires. That's about all it does now. So one of our shurikens broke already. Oh well. Crap. We at least get to trigger the trap. Oh man, that hurt really bad. And I can't run from it. It is painful to um to lose when you have a potential good uh run, right? It's very painful. I don't want to, I want this. So I think we go for a hit, and if it hits us hard, we probably fear it. Maybe that's the play. Let's go for a hit. Hit us for three. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk dodging, having it dodge and then kill me. Oh, that's terrified too now, huh? Oh, but I don't have a ranged weapon for it? Come on. I thought maybe I'd at least be able to lunge. Dang. Are they all fleeing? I don't think that rat's fleeing. At least we'll get a shield. And now the fly kills us. Is that the play now? I feel like maybe I go upstairs and like try and rest and regain a little bit. But what's going to happen is we are going to run out of food. Maybe I have a purity potion here. Or maybe we can survive this food long enough to buy an Ankh in the prisons. Um, yeah, this isn't going to work. Maybe we regain some health at least. Maybe we can get a kill here and I can get a good split here. Not bad. Oh, so one, two. So I attack here, then I lunge at the, at, at you. Let me kill you at least. And it gives us a little bit of space, which is kind of nice, plus a little shield. Oh, I wish I had a little, another charge. I could lunge here at the fly. Okay, I wish I could also kill the snake. <laughs> mm hmm. What do you do when you have no good choices? I kind of want my spike back. Okay, okay, okay. What's the play? Besides so sit here and think. Maybe I'll pause and think. I may risk this lower door. I go in this way. And I can get there without the snake hitting me. And hopefully I can kill the snake here. Nice, we get a level up. I think we probably go with the food. I feel like I'm not waiting ever. Oh, sometimes I wait. The bonus damage is nice. Identify is also nice. <laughs> Three damage is a lot here, but I don't also am eating. You do eat a lot more. So let's see, we have three more talents to use. I really like two points in this, but it doesn't help us survive. So I think I'll go with this one. Something that does helps us immediately. 
And this is going to split down, so it's actually not. I'm going to have to step back, but let's go for a hit here. Yeah. Hopefully we can get two connections in a row. Come on. Okay. Thanks for the healing potion. I don't want it. Well, we survived, and we are regaining a little bit of health. Our torch ran out, unfortunately. We only have one more, because we spent so much time fighting. I feel like I light another torch, though, because of the crabs. Ooh. Say no more. Kind could be cursed, right? So I don't really want to shoot it like here in all this grassland. Okay, let's let's try it on you. It's not cursed. This all right, these I am pretty sure are components for a winning run. Um oh mirror image. And I almost would just put all the upgrade scrolls on the wand, and I'll get to the whip later, because a strong fire blast wand is insane. So here is the seed for this. I feel like this is a run where experienced nine challenge players probably would have a high percentage uh, win chance on it. Myself, unfortunately, is probably going to waste it. I don't have a lot of, I haven't done too many nine challenges, so I think I just let it burn. Oh, now it's buddies here, though. Mm hmm. What kind of gas is this? Toxic? Nice. I want to save them for the crabs. Kind of like yes and no. Oh no. That was a good step. I was hoping to go here. At least hopefully I'll die fast. Okay. We're just eating food. So that's all I got. Oh, and no, all the grass burned. I should almost just like read these scrolls and start upgrading the wand, I think. I think I'll do that. Remember, these are healing. And then I'll just get into this, you know, first strength potion of the prisons, assuming I make it that far. Which I definitely will with this wand it's upgraded properly, so... Okay, one thing I like to do before I read scrolls is um, just imagine how bad it could go. Teleportation, rage, retribution, you know, not the worst. So yeah, it's not like, I'll be okay. Maybe I explore a little bit more. I might find another scroll. giant and a mimic and it happens to be around water so that's not going to help us at all unfortunately oh maybe i can come from below here and shoot them from there i think i'll come back to that one okay so we have an invisibility potion somewhere about what if i picked up on this floor i don't recall picking up any potions it's almost worth going back and watching the replay on this one maybe i'll do that I have to stop and render, so I think I may do that in between episodes because I'll probably only play for another 10 minutes or so. Oh, come on, Snake. You really saw me? I won't have to use a charge on you. But I do love having that shield. Is it max at three? Yeah, three shielding. Use a little more shielding. Let's also use another torch. That feels like a mimic for sure. I didn't even have to like wait and see the animation. Just the way it was presented there just gave me massive mimic vibes. I'm not sure if standing on a door lights us on fire. I don't want to find out on this particular run. Maybe we try it back from here. And then we'll just run back through this way and one running through the door should restart its fire debuff right let's see yeah look at that it was ticking down 
see it's sticking down. Six more turns. Then when it comes through the door, let's look at it again. Five more turns. But then when it comes through the door, seven more turns. Yeah, you can keep the fire going infinitely if you run them through doors like that. Of course, your doors get burned out, but it's okay. We got throwing club and some food. Nice. The ranged weapons are going to be our savior here for sure. Well, I could try intuition on these scrolls and see if they're upgrade. Okay, this food is not going to last me at this rate. If we wait, we'll get the little bonus damage here. Yeah, I didn't want to use a charge for the rat. Ooh, paralyze. Okay. Well, considering we're going on to floor four, one of those scrolls has to be an upgrade. I'm gonna eat some food. And yeah, I'll use intuition. I mean, 50-50, I mean, maybe it's not worth an intuition stone. Maybe I just read one. What could What could the other one be? And now with the floor mostly cleared out, I'm not too wor more worried about rage and teleportation and stuff. So let's read you. Oh, hey, drowsy's pretty good. And since I'm not starving, since I just ate, it actually will heal me up. How many, how many turns though? Let's go look at our, where's our little buff list here? Drowsy, after a few turns. Okay, so it doesn't tell me exactly. I kind of want to, I just want to make sure I'm safe. Nice. That's pretty good. So you're going to be upgrade, right? Please be upgrade. Yes. Oh, I'm going to upgrade this wand. Absolutely. Ow. You're in a bad place. But it is just a knoll. Maybe I just dash out of here. We're full health. Might be time to do it. The other option is we just ignore it. Yeah, I don't love ignoring it. Do they have reduced damage too? Yeah, 75% less damage. Come on, Noel. I just can't get it out of the water. That's just, that's a thing that really sucks about it being giant. Because I can't really use the fire blast. Does it unless the direct damage still applies, but then it just doesn't burn? Right, since it's not identified, it's not giving us the true damage amount. So maybe I just do it. See what it is. It's burning. It didn't take Rapola for damage, though. So we just have to kill it. Maybe I maybe I kill this one. I think I just try and kill that one quick. Because I figured that was gonna take a long time to die, but no, then it actually did not take a long time to die. So how are we doing for mimic here? Can we hit it with this? We can hit it. Nice. And we'll just use all our ranged weapons and we'll do like the walk away shuriken. Get one. Hopefully it dies. Nice. Ooh, we got a ring. I don't want, I don't even want to risk putting it on at the moment though, because this run is doing pretty good. Oh, uh, deadly presence is back. Okay. What was identif- what was a invisibility? I'm not sure. I'm going to check. And then I'll pick this run up tomorrow. We're looking, we're looking pretty good. All right, see you then. Cheers.